in case you missed something. I used to make rap songs, but then also became a singer-songwriter. Went to college, graduated, sort of, stopped making records, started battle rapping, moved into a studio, met this guy, and this guy, and these guys, and all these guys. Moved out of that studio, started a company, started a podcast, grew the company, grew the podcast. Hired these guys, started a YouTube channel. Here we are today. January 1st of this year, I began a set of promises. Number one. Make music here at my home office every Thursday and Friday from 12 p.m. to at least 5 p.m. Number two, anybody can come and use the equipment or help out as long as it's not already in use. Number three, record all of it and create a live documentary series slash reality show starring all of these people called The Grounds. Number four, release 30 finished songs in 2020 and then somehow videos for all those songs and then market all those songs. First episode, we got organized, we made a plan. Second episode, we basically made Michael Cup the boss of the whole project while also realizing that the plan is kind of wrong. We need a new plan. All right, you're all caught up. Welcome to episode three of The Grounds. Okay, so today is actually not a recording day, but I wanted to take a little bit of time to address the fact that our original plan is not gonna work. If we're gonna be able to create and market and make videos for 30 songs in this year, we're gonna need like a structured plan that works for us. So we need to iterate, we need to iterate on the plan. The original plan was put all the songs that I have in my task management app, Asana, in these lists and then start moving them through the list. So getting them through different stages of completion. I thought that every day that we're gonna do music, which is Thursdays and Fridays, I would be able to do like some writing for a couple hours, switch to production for like three hours and then at the end of the day we do tracking. But the more time you spend on any one of these things, the better it comes out usually. And so I really wanna give the tracking and the production and the writing sessions their dedicated time. Like I could probably bang out a writing session in like an hour or two and get what I need. All right, but can I turn you to, to can I low get you Mexico blast? Turn off the low Mexico. Okay, so I am on sprint to write this song number now. I'm not, I'm, just because I haven't ever really done it, I'm not very comfortable doing melody work starting in that like minor tension. I'm gonna stain, I'm gonna fly when you scotch, I get down, so down. I'm in pain, I need blood as what's about drown. Out's where I stay Cause I can't seem to get out my way I'll be dry for one day I'm just chain smoking cigarettes Way broken deep in debt The same clothes I went to bed drunk in I'm a slave to the cycle Lazy and entitled I will never fly Through your heaven high And I'm a child of addiction Wild is my condition I just stumble Underground, oh, I'm a number, I'm a number now. So here's my iteration on the plan. We're, we're going to go to single focus days. So if I'm writing, I'm writing until the day's over. And then tracking gets its own days. Hi, you've reached Joel McQueen. Sorry, I missed your call. Fucking Please Dukes, dude. And I will call you back. From that option. Dukes, I need last train home instrumental. And for that matter, I need more. Oh, it's your calling back. Dukes. What's up, Playboy? Not much, man. It is tracking day here at the HQ, and I desperately need Last Train Home without my Vox on it. Did you send last me that? Last Train Home without your Vox on it. Did I think I can make that happen. Do you want just the drums, or do you want all of them? I want everything, uh, and then if it's not too much trouble, and then just send it to cup at entrepreneur.io. You are the man guy, dude. You doing some vocals, guy? We're tracking some Vox. All right, cool. All right, buddy. I'll send it in a bit. I will talk to you very soon. Thank you, sir. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, motherfucker. Oh, yeah. 
Is there anything I can help with? No, please no. Don't help with anything. Run it to blow it! Blow it high! So let's take a look at what we got going on here. Over here we've got seeds, and then we've got compositions, and then we've got writing, and then producing, and then tracking, and then finishing. We've got Last Train Home, which we tracked guitar for the other day, and it sounds great. So we've still got background vocals to go on that, which we'll be tracking tomorrow. Then we've got Overhead. 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 <laughs> Once that's done, these two can go over to finishing unless Cup feels like there's more production that needs to be done on them, or if we need to get some other instruments, like whatever we need, we'll get. But other than that, like they're mostly finished. Plummet, I need to track vocals for so that it can go back into production because there's still some production things to figure out. Shakers and Rain is one of my favorite songs that we're doing, and Iggy, my good friend and collaborator, already produced it but we're gonna need to workshop that production around the vocal. So I need to track for it and then we can go back to production. Bound to Fall, same story. Whole Lot of Lovin' is a song that I created around an atmosphere verse. I don't have access to that atmosphere verse anymore, Slug. The Slug verse I can't use, it was Nino Blesses and he used it on another track. So I'm gonna need to figure out a new direction for that song, either get another rapper in on it or maybe just make it an all singing song. But if I can retract vocals for that, I can figure that out. Then over here for production, these are all finished songs. So this production list, instead of it being like, I'm gonna crack into Ableton and start producing these, I wanna demo these songs for Cup and make him the like overseeing producer of it all. He's gonna figure out, okay, based on what this song sounds like, here's what we wanna do for production, here are my ideas. And then out of these six songs, we can select the next three to move forward. Forward. So I think by the end of February, maybe, maybe a little bit into March, we could finish Last Train Home and Overhead and have those ready to go out. Two songs finished. I think if we work really hard, Shakers and Rain, Plummet, and Bound to Fall can be up next on deck. That's five songs. Whole lot of loving, not sure how long that's gonna take. All these songs in the production list are very good to go. I'm just, it's just a matter of what Cup thinks we should focus on in the short term. Then over here in the right section, we have songs that I've begun writing but have not yet finished. And those are all really exciting too. Out of the songs that are on this board right now, there's 29. We need to finish up these 29 songs as quickly as possible, and then we need to start getting alternates because it might not be that we wanna release all 30 of these songs this, this year. My hope is that we can get a bulk of these 30 songs by like midsummer. That means a lot of them will be already released. We'll be doing some videos as we finish up more songs. But if we have like the rest of summer and fall to add more songs to choose from to the 30, we'll be in a great place. So there's a lot to be excited about this week. I'm, we're gonna have the game plan with Cup. I'm gonna really know when the first time I can release a record this year is, which is very exciting. We're gonna have background vocals tracked and I'm gonna be moving a lot of these songs out of the right column and into to the production column, so I'm super psyched about all that. I'm fucking psyched.